The unitary method is, um, as the name suggests, it's a way of doing something similar to the kinds of questions you were looking at yesterday, but again, it's another strategy, right? It's a little bit like if you were, you know, becoming a handyman or a plumber or a, um, uh, a carpenter or something like that. You always want to have lots and lots of methods, techniques, strategies up your sleeve so that you can, depending on the problem that's in front of you, you can pick the most effective way, right? So this is a really clever way of doing it. The unitary method. Here's an example question that is a great candidate for the unitary method. You don't have to use the unitary method, but it's really good. 15% of an amount, and the whole point of it saying an amount is, I, I don't know what it is, okay, is $75, okay? The question that might get posed to you is, well, what was the amount? What was that entire amount? What did you actually start with before you took 15% and got a result, okay? Now we looked at a question like this yesterday. We introduced some algebra in order to solve it. And that was great, that was fine. But you don't have to appeal to algebra. Let's think about how this is gonna work. Um, unit, right? It just means one, just like when you're playing Uno or when things are united, put into one, etc. <laughs> so this is all about trying to express the units of the question, right? So we're talking about percentages, percentages, okay? So if 15% is that, then I should be able to use this information to work out 1%, right? Like if I know what 15% is, it shouldn't be that hard to work out what just 1% is because that's the unit I'm interested in, right? In fact, it's, well, it's 15% divided by 15. That's what 1% is, right? It's like, here's your 15%, just chop it into a whole bunch of chunks so that each one is 1% in size. Yes? But how will 15% divided by 15 give you the 1% of them? Yes, like. great question, right. So at the moment, I haven't said anything dramatic. I've just said 15 divided by 15 is one. It's like, you know, well done, do you want a medal? Okay, no, not yet. I'm going to bring this in contact with this question. Take a seat, we'll talk, okay. So 15% in this particular question is $75. So I'm going to, do what we call a substitution, right? I'm going to swap out, I'm gonna change, replace this 15% with $75, because that's what it is in this case, right? So it's $75 over 15. You see what I've done, right? I just had 15% before, I'm just replacing it, just swapping it, okay? $75 divided by 15, if you're really good with your times tables, let's give it a go, shall we? 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, right? So I can fit $5 out of that, right? That's how many watts I get out. So 1% of our whole amount is gonna be $5. Well, once you've got one, it's super easy to get to the whole amount because what is the whole amount? What percentage? It's a 100%, right? 100 out of 100, okay? So if 1% is this, right, then all I have to do is multiply both <laughs> sides by 100. Do you see that? And that'll land me with, on the left-hand side, 100%, one times 100, right? And over here, $5, 100, 100 of them, $500. Done. Does that make sense? Now we can we can test this out to see if this answer actually makes sense with our question, right? Suppose I rephrase the question. I said 15% and I think the amount's 500, right? So if I said, okay, I have a different question now. <coughs> this is the question you were used to getting yesterday. 15% of, and then they tell you an amount and then you have to answer. How would you answer that question? We looked at a couple of methods yesterday for doing this. Anyone want to give me a suggestion? What could I do? You can use your calculator for this. Yeah, Tinder. Do 15 over 100 times 500. 15 over 100, great idea, that's 15%. And then the, um, the of is multiplication. Yeah, that's exactly right. You can cancel the 100 here and you're gonna get $75, which is what we started with, isn't it? Okay, so it checks out. This method that we've gone through to get to 1%, and that's a nice easy path to 100%, 
That's what's called the unitary method. Okay.